Welcome, everybody, to another episode of the Maximum Capacity Show, uh, a show that uh, we talk about random topics, uh, discuss them, debate them, and uh, sometimes we get into heated arguments. Um, then we uh, post them onto YouTube on the Maximum Capacity Show on YouTube, uh, Monday through Friday, uh, topic by topic, day by day. Um, and then the entire thing comes on on Friday, the audio and the video. And with me today is, like always, Dean. Hi. Guy waves. I didn't do the uh, thing to this week. No, you didn't. That's, <laughs> that's... I can't. I can't do it with my hands. No. I no. Do both. I'm a weirdo. Oh, and I'm Harv, the other co-host. <laughs> I forgot to introduce myself. Mm, I think tonight you should be like Coco. Co- Coco? Yeah. Is it because I'm brown? No. <laughs> I was listening to a podcast with this guy named Joey Coco Diaz. And it just first thing came to my head, Coco. All right, that'd be a cool name for That's... like real. No, so that people like, hey, who are you? Like, I'm Coco. <laughs> They'd be like, are you fucking kidding? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody would take you seriously at that point. That's probably true. Yeah, yeah. Mr. We're we're uh, we, we President Coco. <laughs> did you see his uh, correspondence at dinner? Uh, oh, Obama. I, I saw some of the highlights. I like you did the mic drop. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what a badass. You know, what he, you know what he's saying? He's like, you're all screwed. <laughs> Here comes Trump. Oh, man. it's like, I watched the entire thing. Like, it was like 30 minutes or something, and I watched the entire thing. I was like, man, I was laughing so hard. It's uh, it's Trump for sure, right? Yeah, tr- everybody else just dropped out. Oh, my God. <laughs> he outlasted them all. <laughs> Even he's probably sitting at home right now like, holy shit, I did it. <laughs> I know, right? He's like, I never, th- I never thought I'd get this far. I what think- is happening? I think we're screwed, man. <laughs> I honestly think bad things are going to happen. You think so? I, I sincerely think bad things are going to happen. If he wins, I bet you some smart person is going to make some dumb person kill him. Because all the dumb people voted him in, because there's more dumb people than smart people in the States. So that's the only reason he's going to win. Yeah, yeah. And but some I don't, smart I don't, person's going to be like, you know dumb. what? I'm going to lose... Eight hundred million dollars because of Donald Trump, and he's gonna give some stupid guy a million dollars. He's like, "Here's a gun." When he drives by, JFK that bitch. JFK that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I I saw a poll, uh, an interesting poll that he's got a two percent lead over Hillary Clinton. Is that who's gonna win the other one? Yeah, because I, I think Bernie Sanders. If Bernie Sanders wins all the states from now till the election, he still can't win. Really? Yeah. Yeah, so it's, I think it's Hillary pre- just wants to win so she can like screw some guy and be like, "Screw you, Bill." <laughs> she's still upset about that. that she's going in. She's, she's going in for the long con, man. It's the long con. <laughs> that would be the greatest thing. That would become the best thing <laughs> of all time. <laughs> Hillary Clinton waited twenty years to get to get back. <laughs> That's hilarious. How weird would it would it be for Bill Clinton? It's like, man. Now he's the first man. Yeah. Yeah. Hey? That's, that's, that's so, so funny. He was running the country for a while. Well, his wife did everything, and now he's the wife. That's hilarious. <laughs> no, that's it. He's, he technically will have three terms in, in, in a way. Dude, I really think that shit's going to go fucking haywire if he, if he gets in. Donald Trump. What's that? Trump. Yeah. It's, yeah. I think it's going to be shitty if Hillary's in there too, because she just seems like this career politician that doesn't know anything else. <clears throat> maybe maybe she'll just go to jail and we won't have to worry about her. Yeah, but isn't she like? Didn't she just pay like a million dollars to like have all her social media stuff? Or I read some article. Have you, did you hear about that? It doesn't matter how much money you put into it. It doesn't matter what you do. Internet will always find the stuff. Yeah, but <laughs> it's like if that's her train of thought now, it's like. She's going to be like, oh, net neutrality is good, and oh, FBI will have access to everyone's phone, and that's just protect. We're just protecting you. And net neutrality is good. It, net neutrality should exist. You think so? Yeah, because if net neutrality did not exist, then people and that the companies would throttle your internet. Isn't that isn't net neutrality so that they could throttle your internet? No, no. Net neutrality means that everybody gets the same same internet. Same speeds, same oh, everything. Okay, okay, my bad. I meant the opposite. The, I meant yeah. the opposite of that. Yeah. Yeah. If know. it if it was the opposite, then we'd be fucked. Because then, like Netflix would, or uh, I think Comcast would like give Netflix less bandwidth or something like that, or something. It's like something like that. Man, you want to know something? As a Canadian, 
I don't really like when I think of things or I use things as a reference or I like hear things on the news and and even things that are gonna affect me. I really think of like the states, don't you? Like uh, that didn't come out right, but I mean like I'm tired. But I mean like you know we all these things like we're talking about the presidential election and that stuff like directly doesn't affect us. But indirectly it does. So everything that I think of, like when it relates to Apple and Google, we're all we are relying on American companies to provide the things we use in Canada. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's yeah, we 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 rely on everybody relies on them though. Well, that's the thing. That's why they're the center stage country of the entire planet. Like, man, it, it, we're just like piggybacking on them. Like yeah. it's, it's retarded when you think about it. Isn't they it? have they have the innovation. They have they have the capital. Like why don't we just become? US, USA 2.0, man. If they came and said, hey, here's a $20,000 check you're in America now, I'd sign on a dollar. I don't give a shit. But the thing is, like, look at their population compared to ours. I know. it's What is it, 10 times the population? 35 it, million to 350 or something like that? Yeah, they have. Th yeah, we have like 30-something million. We have 30-something million. They got like 300-something. Yeah, so it's a 10 to 1. That's insane. Yeah, That's so insane. like... Aren't we bigger? Like, geographically? Yeah, but see, there's nothing in the middle of the United States, or in Canada. Yeah, it's just... The middle is like a fucking ghost town. Well... And, if, the, and if this... Um, fucking forest fire has any fucking indication there is going to be no middle of the country. <laughs> Dude, that forest fire wrecked Fort McMurray, hey? Yeah, it did. <laughs> oh my god, it's like, it, it basically is like the size of Prince George that just got pushed out yeah. in like a weekend. Like, nah, nah, we're just going <laughs> to burn everything. That's fucked up. Was that human started? I think so. Oh my god, that poor bastard better fucking hide. They'll find his DNA and they'll be like, you owe... <laughs> 80,000 people homes. <laughs> You're just toast. Oh, man. It's been hot, man. It's been really hot. Yeah. Actually, it has been it was nice today. It's been sunny here, but it's been, like, kind of cold still. I don't know. Oh, well. All right. First topic. Well, you can, yeah, you can go first. Oh, shit, I gotta find it. Uh, if you could run... Hold on, let me find what I actually wrote so I actually wrote better. Oh, this one. If you could magically learn one instrument, what would it be and why? Ma like, a, I had, uh, like a music instrument? A musical instrument. You can learn any instrument. And fun fact, did you know you watch The Big Bang Theory? Not anymore. Okay, well, there's this, like, instrument that Sheldon was playing, but it's, like, with magnets, and it's, like, ah, oh, crap, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, I think it's with magnets. And it's you're not actually physically touching anything. You're using, like, like magnets to, anyways, I don't remember what it's called. Yeah. That's, a, that's an actual instrument. And apparently the actor who does Sheldon literally learned how to play it, and it's apparently one of the hardest instruments in the world to play. Fun that would be, because it kind of depends on how close you have to put the magnet to yeah. make the sound, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, but anyways, that's just a side note. I think... The one instrument I really want to play is guitar. Mm. Like, that's just... That's like my go-to thing. Like Every single time. It would be sweet to just wake up in the morning and be like, I like this song, and go play it. Yeah, like where I work, right beside me, there's an acoustic guitar. Oh, really? Just sitting there. And every day you're like, quit staring at me, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Some days I just want to like pick it up and start playing it, but like I don't know anything on there. <laughs> I tried learning guitar, and you know why I gave up on it? Because of this. I uh, have a really hard time. I thought you meant because of this podcast. What's that? <laughs> I thought you meant because of this podcast. <laughs> oh, between that. I, uh, I can't like do two things at once with my hands, like, simultaneously. Like, I can't do this and strum. Like, it's actually quite hard, man. But you can play games. I, I know, but that... It, there's a different part of my brain that's like, nah, we can do this, and then the guitar comes, and it's like... Well, uh, no, it's not gonna work. To be fair, I have, like, learned to play, like, bits and pieces of a couple songs, and it was just, like, practice. Yeah. Uh, I really do... Like, people have told me, like, you should just go do a couple lessons. And figure out like the chords because all songs are based off chords. Or if you know where the chords are, you know where like you know. Yeah, it becomes right. muscle memory after a while, right? Yeah, like you watch bands. Like, man, I, I'm really blown away every time I go to a concert and the guitar people are just going insane. They're like jumping up and down, but they're not missing anything. It's yeah. so just, you know, like second nature that it it, it it doesn't matter what they're doing, they can still do it. Whereas but you, that, that... you would have to be like solely focused on just that. But that comes with anything, though, right? That becomes. At some point, it's just muscle memory. Yeah. Like anything, if you do it over and over and over and over again, you're going to know it without even looking at something. Yeah, that's true. Right? Um, like, it's just, 
it's kind of a stupid example, but like when I play Final Fantasy, all my stuff, all my macros and stuff, they're all set in one spot. I don't even have to look at them anymore. Like yeah. I can just hit them without knowing what's in there because I already know what's in there and it's all muscle memory. But when somebody changes one of them, I'm like, well, fuck, everything's fucked up. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, but uh, if I could play, learn, magically learn one thing, it wouldn't be the guitar. I always thought it would be, but I think it would be the, the piano. The triangle? Piano, man. The I piano really would like... be pretty dope because Derek, he plays the piano. It, it, the, like, I don't really like the, cla- I don't like classical, like, music, right? Like, I, and piano seems to be, like, the main thing I think people use for, like, classical music. Yeah. But apparently any song you can play on the guitar, you can play on the piano. They're like yeah to read it. it and to play it is like fairly similar yeah and I think it'd be sweet to play like acoustic songs on the piano. I think cool. that'd be pretty. I think having both at the same time would be really awesome. <sighs> if you learned how to play guitar, then you learned how to play piano. That would. Be if cool. you had one person playing the guitar and another person. Playing oh the yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. And then combining them together to make. You want to know something too? My brother played piano uh, growing up. He did like lessons and stuff. I never was even asked. My parents must have knew I was stupid. I don't think my parents ever asked me either. I don't think instruments were a big thing for them. No, my my dad and my mom don't play any instruments. But they, anyways, my brother had um, a piano lessons, and he used to go to, like piano recitals and crap. And I used to always have to go, obviously. And I, there was lots of people I went to school that were my age or a year older, people that I like know, who like played piano. And son of a bitch, man, all of them were incredibly smart. And I always like thought that growing up. And I was like, I wonder if there's like a correlation. And there actually are studies that say if you learn piano at a young age. It unlocks like aspects of your brain that are better for uh, better for uh, remembering, like you said, muscle memory, uh, helps yeah. with like eye coordination, stuff like that. And it, yeah, I think I read something that makes you makes math easier. I'm not gonna look it up now, but I'll look it up in it. But I read it and I was like, oh, you know what? Like I saw all those people and I went to school with them and they were just like, I was stupid and they were smart. And I don't know, maybe playing piano, there's a correlation. But. Well, it's it's a um, it stimulates your mind, right? You do you have to read the uh, the music sheet and play at the same time. Yeah, yeah, that's right. right. Unless you know it off by heart, which most people, most people, most people, oh, most people well, if you play it a lot, like a lot, then most if people you play do the same song fucking a thousand times. You're not gonna have to look at anything. Yeah, yeah, I th- piano would be pretty awesome because like it's just the sound of the piano makes. It's co- I like it. It's different. Yeah. I really like acoustic guitar and I like the piano. I think those are sweet. Yeah, because it's so similar though too. So <laughs> they are. I have a piano here. I've tried teaching myself, and it's like I'm not good at like learning, like the the chords. I just will like watch a video of a song I want to play, and I like slow it down, and I like, play it repeatedly, and like break it down. Yeah, section by it. section. And then I don't do it for a couple weeks, and I forget everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's also one thing though. Like when you're when you're learning how to play an instrument, you gotta have some dedication. Yeah, it's. It, 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 it's not even just, it's not, it's like a hobby, but it's not. It's like something you have to do every day, whether you want to or not, if you want to get better. Like, what is the, what exactly. is it, 10,000 hours to become a, a master at anything? Is That's that what I've heard, something like that. And it's like 10,000 hours is, there isn't even 10,000 hours in a year, right? There's 24 hours multiplied by 7, multiplied by 4, 4 weeks, right? Why does it do 24 times 365? Oh, Jesus, I could do that. My, my brain. 8,760 8, hours in a year. So let's there. say, what do you sleep for? You sleep for half half of that, right? Wow. Well, no, isn't that... Yes. You sleep You sleep like... 9, 10 oh, hours. Okay, 9, 10 hours. Well, whatever. Say, yeah. it would take you... If you did nothing but eat, sleep, and learn, say, like to play the guitar, to be a master, it would take you like 4 or 5 years still. That's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. But see, like, I wouldn't want to mat. Like, I, I don't know. I think it'd be a cool hobby on the side. Yeah. Right? Just to play here and there and just kind of, like, do it. Dude, that's... Drum, cool. Drums would be a really cool one oh, to do. I had a pair but of drums. But I have no coordination with my feet and no, my hands. No, that's the killer. I couldn't even do it on Rock Band. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with well, one I can, pedal. <laughs> I could do it on Medium on Rock yeah. Band. Yeah. Once you like, got, that's like, my limit. Once you had, like, uh, the, like... Like two drums and the pedal at the same time, rock band. I always fumbled, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Some people, I don't know. You see these, like, you ever see the videos of like the kids that are like nine and they're like seven and they're like killing the drums, killing the guitar, playing like Mozart on the piano? It's just like you motherfucker, man. <laughs> it's like how did you figure that out? You're only seven. You don't have the discipline. I bet you they're all even even if they're white kids. There's an Asian dad standing behind them. Play, play now. <laughs> 
Oh, that's that's mildly not racist. <laughs> Uh, um, it's insane. Plus, you plus, just... plus, you gotta you gotta have a music inclined family too. I think to have to like learn that kind of stuff. Because uh, I didn't come from a family that was musical at all. Like, no, you're right. Like if your dad was like a, in a band for 20 years, and now you come along, he's probably gonna show you how to play guitar easy. Yeah, exactly. Or Derek, 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 my, Derek, my roommate, he got really like his family is musically inclined. Like everybody loves music. And then yeah. everybody plays music in their family. It's not even like forced upon you you're like you grow up with it and it just becomes part of your nature right? yeah exactly it's yeah it's not like we we grew up with games and other shit that wastes your time yeah it's <laughs> i don't know it's insane i wish like i, I if if they came up with like a, a chip you can put in your brain and it and one was to like you know how to play music i think i would take that one that'd be pretty cool like, an in- everything interesting else take. everything else i think i could just learn myself like realistically like say you didn't know how to ice skate ice ice skate well that's not that hard to learn yeah you that's, could do that in like a week yeah but i can't learn to fucking play you know 10 songs in a week yeah well you probably could i don't think i could i not I, not very well but you probably could yeah yeah that's true maybe depending on how much time you put into it yeah see that's the thing man i get like into something for like a week and then it's like eh, nah. <laughs> like, I'm gonna play guitar. And that dedication uh, is on and point. The week, and the week's like that. Ah, nice. I'm good. Oh, Maybe that's funny. Day. That dedication's on point, bro. Thanks. I try real hard. <laughs> no, I think I would go with those two. I was thinking of the triangle, but what, what's the triangle called? The triangle isn't it just. Is it just triangle? called a triangle? The thing you just hit with the stick. Yeah, the stick, and you have a triangle, and you're just hitting it. <laughs> have you seen the people who play? When you okay, you, like you like rock bands and shit. You ever watch like them like live performances on YouTube and shit? Sometimes I, I'm not a big live performance person. Oh, see, I am. I like live. I, I the CD or not the CD, the, the like the uh, the album is what gets me into them. Yeah. And then, like once it's not enough anymore, I, I go to YouTube and watch like live performances because I and I really I like live performance. Live performance is different. They play it different. They add things. Yeah, they add, but they don't. They always don't sound as good. Yeah, that's the but trade-off. See, that's the trade-off. Yeah, but see, I think that's because, like, like, when you're in a studio, you can you can change what you sound like, right? Well, it's 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 mixed to sound like perfect, right? Yeah, um, and it, and then when you're live, it's like authentically what they are. Basically. Yeah, that's that's what I like. But uh, I forget what my, I totally forget what my point was. <laughs> wow, <laughs> there, was, there was a triangle involved. Triangle. They're playing live. You ever see those people playing live? Oh, oh, oh I, I came back. I got it. I got it. Thanks, man. Uh, okay, anyways, have you seen those new, like, drum? Because, you know, whenever you watch, like, a band do, like, a live performance or, like, an acoustic, the drummer and the bass player are never there. It's just, like, the guitarist and the singer. Yeah. Because it's acoustic, right? Now they have these, like, um, these square boxes, and they're, like, for drummers. And you sit on top of it, and your legs are on the side, and you hit it, and every word that you hit gives a different, like, Sound? sound for for like uh, that represents a drum. They're actually really cool. Huh. So now, like when you're, uh, you're listening to a band and they're doing like a live performance at let's say like a radio station, the drummer act can actually be involved and he smacks this like boxing and it simulates like uh, a drum sound. I don't know what they're called, but I've been seeing it for like the last year and like you know videos I've been watching of bands that uh, like live stuff and I'm like, what the fuck is that guy sitting on? And yeah, they're like, uh, it's like a drum. That's interesting. So now, like, the drummer isn't just, a, like, you know, he's not just for, like, the actual concert. He can actually, you know. And it's it's not that big. It's only, like, you know, a little box that you can move around and carry and put it in a car kind of thing. So that was cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, I see. But that, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. I've seen, like, uh, like at work, a couple of people, like, he's, one of the guys, he sent me a video of uh, these guys on, the, on, uh, on a rooftop, and they're uh, playing music. But they're, like, making music with, like, a mixer and stuff like that and like with a computer and shit like mixing it together yeah, yeah. i think that's some lazy ass shit yeah it is like when you're gonna make music you gotta make music i you know what though i'll say this i used to think like uh techno music was stupid like edm and shit i always thought like you know it's like untalented people just like putting sounds together but i worked and and uh with this guy at target uh his name is russell uh his i think his edm thing is called jubnar Anyways, he makes some really sick music, and he, like, posts stuff on Snapchat and stuff, and I watch it. Just, in, like, talking to him, there's a lot more that goes into, like, even making, like, EDM music than, like, what I thought. I thought yeah. it was just, you know, the people who couldn't play an instrument 
that were just using these like pre-made uh, tones on the internet and putting them together, which still takes time, but it's not really like a talent. But when you like create it from scratch, it is a talent, man. It's music just in a different way. Yeah, no, I, I get that. I totally get that. But like for me, I I personally love just music, music. Yeah. Somebody just, just getting instruments together and just playing music. I like that too. I, I I don't know. I'm starting to like EDM stuff. I you know what I hate though? I hate like blues, like classical stuff. The only like really classical thing I can listen to, like a couple Frank Sinatra songs are all right. But other than that, man, if it's like. 1970 and down nah. <laughs> even then like what was it who was it then like elvis nah 60s is elvis was six, the 60s what was the 70s like the beatles and 70s uh, is when it no the like beatles something. beatles were 50s and 60s no they weren't really yeah they were in the 50s oh shit yeah they got good in the 70s <laughs> <laughs> they got good in, i think they broke up in the 70s <laughs> wasn't, there, wasn't their last performance together on a rooftop yeah, it was just impromptu and people started like freaking out on the street. Yeah, what an iconic was, uh, way to Apple, go out. Apple something, Green Apple Productions, I think it's called. What a badass way to go out, like a bar, right? Hey, yeah, that, that uh, Abbey Road cover for the album. They're just so good. <laughs> Abbey Road, Abbey Road was an amazing album, dude. That that cover and the way they went out, it's just like, yeah, like, so good. You can't write that shit it just organically happens you know what i mean and yeah. you don't even know what it is what you have until you but see, that, like i wonder if like like we love the beatles because like we heard them at a young age and nothing else like it's something that we've never heard right could you imagine if they actually made music now i think everybody would hate that band yeah i don't think like people nowadays actually like you have like the Beatles. Pfft, the I don't fuck? think if they what shit know, is that if they started right now, I don't think they'd be successful. Yeah, I don't think so either. I think they peaked at the perfect time. It's yeah, it was all like circumstances, like e- everything just met, fell fell into place, right? Yeah, exactly. I've been actually reading a lot about uh, not a lot, but like after Prince died, I I read some shit on him. Dude, he was a pretty interesting character, man. He was an interesting person. He. uh... Yeah, he had, like, you know that he, something happened with his uh, record company or something, and he became the man formerly <coughs> known as Prince? Did you know that? Yeah, I knew about that, I yeah. didn't know that. I That's thought that. he was just Prince. <laughs> he became the man, how smart is that? What a boss. Hey, oh, you want to take Prince away from me? I'm the man <laughs> formerly known as Prince. Same thing, but Same better. Thing. But, like, he's not actually Prince. Exactly. Like, what a <laughs> fucking badass, man. That was a rough couple weeks, man. Everyone. So died. many people died. Man, I feel so bad for China. She got overshadowed like eight hours after she died. <laughs> no one gave a shit. Yeah. She finally got some recognition and it took her croaking. <laughs> <laughs> and then like 12 hours later, Prince dies and everyone's changing things to purple and people are talking about purple rain and no one gives a shit about China. Even nope. the WWE, like. <laughs> and they gave her a like, tribute. <laughs> Yeah, but like their web page was purple the next day. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, man! He didn't even. Yeah, but see that—that's how influential the difference of influence was between yeah. the two. I watched right. a a thing on I think it was who's the skinny late night guy Jimmy Kimmel Fallon, Jimmy Fallon, and he said he would like Prince was like, oh, I want to play ping pong with you or something, and they like played ping pong, and I guess they're like. Prince kept beating him, and Jimmy Kimmel or Jimmy Fallon like went to pick a ball and turned around, and Prince was just gone. And he just left, never came back. Didn't say bye. He thought they were still playing, and he just he just left. <laughs> Didn't say nothing. Like what a badass man! It's like You're oh, badass. I'm done with you, Fallon. Just leaves. <laughs> That's it. On to cool. the next. I never really listened to a lot of Prince, though. I still have. No, I was I I yeah, I never really got into. I'm probably Prince. not going to, but you got to respect what he did. Yeah. 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 What's yours, bro? All right. My topic, um, your favorite chain restaurants. So it could be McDonald's, Burger King. You guys got a fresh slice now, so you guys can pick fresh. Is it good? It's okay. Like it's cheap. The pizza's not bad. Like all different kinds of pizzas. You know what, man? Like. I don't really eat out <laughs> a lot of chains. Like when we eat out, we eat like sushi. 
Or we go to like uh, the Copper Pig in town, which is I think it's just like an independent restaurant and is, things yeah. like that. So I don't really eat it change a lot, but this is gonna upset some people. But I think McDonald's is my go to, man. <laughs> everyone says so like vanilla, Mc- man. So everyone vanilla. says like McDonald's is gross and it upsets my stomach. But you know what? No. It doesn't bug me. I could eat like dude, I'm not gonna lie, I had a bad day at school this year and I'm like I really, really want a big Mac. You know, what I, you know how much food I ordered at McDonald's and ate in like 20 minutes by myself? I ordered a Big Mac, a double quarter pound of cheese, two junior chickens, and a bacon McDouble fries and a drink. And I ate it all and didn't even feel full after. Holy what fuck, a fatty. man. fatty. <laughs> I ate Holy like a, family, shit. <laughs> a family's worth of food. And <laughs> I remember like distinctly like being disgusted with myself, but laughing because it's like, I'm not even that full. But I, I always get that when I eat McDonald's. Like I eat it, I'm like... Like, I'm craving it sometimes, and then when I eat it, I'm like, man, I feel like shit <laughs> after eating it. It's just it. regret. It's it, not like yeah, it's actually all, physically reg- feeling yeah. like shit. Yeah, it's regret and remorse. <laughs> it's like Chinese, and then there's Chinese food. Chinese food, yes. you just feel, you literally feel empty after. You're full for like 10 minutes, and then mm. an hour later, you're like, I'm so hungry. Yeah. Because it shoots through your body like Chinese people trying to get on the subway. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing with Chinese food. I can only have it once a month, maybe once every two months. It's the same thing with Indian. If I go out to get Indian food, it's the same way for me. Yeah. I can only get it once every couple months because it's so, so much oil and butter and stuff like that, and it's just like it makes you feel like crap. Your body's you rejecting it. it. It's like, why did you do this to me? Yeah, and then you feel like crap yourself. You're like, ugh, what did I do to myself? But it's good when you eat it. Well, you're eating it. It's like fucking the best thing ever. It's like the f- ten. 15 minutes after you're just like oh mm. no then, then you start dwelling on it you're like wow what did i just eat yeah but <laughs> i don't know i kind of like mcdonald's i really like a&w burgers the best like teen burger man <coughs> i can i can burger. respect the a&w burgers. it's expensive though that's the thing mcdonald's got going for man it's so cheap but you know that it's mealworms man you know your burger ain't come from no cow <laughs> it came from some farmer who's, like, scraping up worms from the ground, and he mushed it all up and sent it to McDonald's, man. Who, who made the big deal about the, who, they're not buying Canadian beef anymore? Uh, I have no Is idea. that A&W? I have no idea. I think it was A&W. I didn't hear about that. Yeah, they said they're not buying Canadian beef because it's not as good as the American beef. You but know, anyways. Why are just saying that because our dollar sucks so much right now? Probably. But, yeah. Um, so I would have to go with um, White Spot. Oh, that is a fucking chain, isn't it? I went to White Spot twice this week. I would go with White. I went to White Spot a couple times last week. Dude, they have this goat cheese sriracha turkey burger I had there. It was unreal. See, I like everything there except the goat cheese. That's what fucking really. I was good, man. I liked it. It wasn't too bad, but oh, I love sriracha. the Monty mushroom is my fucking go to. The what? The Monty mushroom. The, oh, the burger? They have good burgers there, man. Dude, that's that's the main thing you gotta get there, burgers. Well, have you been to a, uh, what are their, like, tri- what are their triple O's? Triple O's? Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. It's just like the bur- I went, I went the burgers. I went once. It's kind of expensive, but they're good burgers, man. They are. That's, I think that's what I would go for. It's, it's, it's only Canada-based, so anybody from the States doesn't know about it. But yeah. What about, it's... like, Panago? I love me some Panago pizza. <laughs> like, it's chain. Like, I like pizza that better in town. For chain pizzas, chain. I would think I would go with Panago. Because Domino's is fucking disgusting. <laughs> Man, Colton thinks Domino's is the best pizza on earth. I don't, uh, Sunny and yeah, they think that's know. the best too. And I'm just sitting there, I'm like, what the fuck am I? It's like I'm eating the cardboard. Domino's is better than Papa John's though. Papa John's is gross. I had Papa John's. I remember when it opened, and I was like, this is this is piss. It's I remember so when, bad. when when Papa John's opened. People were going crazy for it. Like, oh my god, we got Papa John's. Yeah. Gotta get Papa John's Papa tonight. <laughs> Domino's is pretty shitty, but Papa John's. <coughs> Man, have you ever eaten at a Pizza 73? Yes, way, well, way back. Way I don't, back. I don't rem- ever remember eating Pizza 73, but it's I remember, still here. I, I, I know. I remember the Pizza 73 used to have double decker pizzas. One box with two layers. Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and then you I, take I, the first. You take the first layer off, and the and then there's like you open the box, and then it's the first pizza. And you open the second box, or you take the second uh, second or first layer out, and the ball on the bottom there's another. Um... Oh, that's badass! It's it's the only place I've seen that does that. Um, yeah, I don't I don't think I literally don't think I've ever had Pizza Seventy Three. What about Little Caesars? It's better no. than still better than Domino's. Yeah. Oh yeah, hundred percent. It's better than Papa John's. I like Panago the best. 
No, if I would go with that, because I've had I've had so many good pizza places here. That the, well, they're way better than the chains, right? Yeah. Oh, pizza, sushi, and burgers have been ruined for me since I've been living in Vancouver. <laughs> no shit, Vancouver's got so much good food, man. <laughs> Expensive food. You know what though? When I go out to eat, I don't care what it is. If I want it, I get it, man. I'd rather have that good eating experience than be like, I saved seven bucks. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's that's the way. That's the way I feel like, too. Like I hate when I go with pe- people and they're like, I'm just gonna get chicken fingers and French fries. It's like, you're at it's like, like uh, whatever. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Get like something they're known for. Something good. Get the salmon. Oh, the salmon's thirty dollars. I don't give a fuck. I'm hungry, man, and I want the salmon. The salmon looks good. Oh, I have to give a shout out to Red Robins. Oh, Red Robins, yeah. That's that place cool. is fucking good. Endless, their turkey burger is fucking on point. Those fries. Their turkey oh. burger is good. I've had their fry or their turkey burger with the fries with that fucking seasoning salt. Oh, yeah, it's good, man. I it's like how crack, their fries bro. are like wedges, right? But they're not like so thick that it's disgusting. But they're not yeah. too. It's like they nailed it. Yeah, they nailed. They got the, probably the best fries out of all of them. They'll, all they'll the... come by and like, you want some more fries? It's like, damn right. Yeah, fuck <laughs> I'm yeah. I'm not even hungry. Fries. I'll take these bastards home. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever did the unlimited fries thing is a fucking genius. Genius. He's like potatoes cost like nine cents. Yeah, exactly. I'll get you in the door with unlimited potatoes. Exactly. Mm. Oh, Red Robin is good. I'm, think, I'm thinking about other chains like those Tim Hortons. Fucking Red Lobster, man. I've never been to a Red Lobster. Are you for real? Never been there. You've, there's, you know that there's none in British Columbia. Really? No. Huh. Did you know that in order for there to be a red lobster, or red, red, red lobster? <laughs> I'm so excited thinking about lobster. A red red lo- robins and red lobster. I read once that, and I don't know if this is true, but it's always stuck in my head that in order for there to be a red lobster, there needs to be an Olive Garden right next to it. And I've never been to a red lobster where right next to it wasn't an Olive Garden. Wow, I've never I, know. Well, I guess I've never noticed because I've never been to a Red Lobster. Oh, Edmonton has one by West Edmonton Mall. We always go to, and when <laughs> when we went to Calgary once, we stayed at a hotel by one. We ate there like three times. <laughs> it was like a hundred dollars every time. I've I've actually never so had good. lobster in my life. Really? Have you had yeah. crab? Yes, I've had crab. Like fresh crab. Not fresh crab. No. Just like, are you, dude? Next time you come up, I'm gonna make you a, like. A lobster and crab dinner. Like, done right with, like, the butter. You're going to make it? I'll make you. I, it's, me and Carrie do it. Not all the time, but we've done it before. And, I, like, seriously, give me a heads up. Next time you come up. Guy's going to go catch a lobster. No, I'm going to go to the store and get one. But, <laughs> dude, they're, they're the shit. And you get, like, uh, you boil, you steam it, and then you get, like, these. we have these little butter dishes that you light a fire under, a candle, and it keeps the butter hot, and you dump It's good, man. Mmm. Sounds pretty amazing. You like you like seafood, don't you? Oh, I like seafood. I, su- yeah, I eat sushi. Oh, dude, you fucking... I, I personally like lo- uh, crab better than lobster, but you have to try lobster. At least I'll get you a lobster tail. Yeah, I feel like it, I feel like it's like a, like a sushi kind of thing. Like If you're going to eat sushi, you're going to get good sushi. Yeah. Right? Well, you can't yeah. get su- uh, shitty sushi. Yeah. Like, when I, when I first got introduced to sushi through Edo. Remember that Edo? And they had, like, the California rolls. Yeah. It was like fake, fake uh, crab, and I was like, "Oh, these are so good!" And then you have like a real piece of sushi somewhere because you get over like the thing <coughs> of it, yeah, and you're like, "Man, that fake crap is like shit." It's like once you have real good sushi, and you have bad sushi, it's just like this is garbage. What am I doing? Yeah. Like it's it it, it ruins it. There's a sushi place right by, by right by where I work, where I go get my sushi. Oh my god, that place is like the best place in Vancouver so far. Yeah, for sushi wise, that I've had. And it's right by your work, which is it's perfect. right by my work. Yeah, I went there today to get sushi. How many times a week do you eat sushi? Twice, three times. I what, I'm trying to cut back. I used to go there like three times a week. You're gonna get fucking some seafood disease, man. <laughs> <laughs> you eat way too much raw fish. Dude, they're fucking... They're, the spicy tuna is just so oh, good. spicy tuna. I love spicy... I like spicy... Uh, uh, um, spicy scallop, too. That's mm. good. And salmon tempura. Oh, my God. That Have one's you ever good. had an eel roll? Eel. No, I've never had that. Eel's really good. And then there's this one place in town here that makes a roll with... A barbecued salmon skin. It sounds stupid. It is so good. Like the crunch in it. I don't know. Yeah, I think that'd be actually pretty good. But well, I usually go with like that or like the dynamite roll and then uh, chicken teriyaki roll, beef teriyaki roll. You know, you something simple. Sashimi? 
like the raw big chunk on the right? Sometimes. I did it uh, once uh, after I think the most I've hung over I've ever been, and I can't do it ever since, man. I it's, bit it's in, and it was too hungover. much raw raw fish for me to handle. It's probably because you were hung over. Yeah, I know, but it's it's toast in my head. Like, I just can't do it. Can't <laughs> it's, do like, it. actually, like, oh, my God. Every time I see it, i got to throw I've up. I've tried it, like, once once since then, and I took, like, a bite, and I, I like, spit it out. Like, I can't fucking do it. <laughs> hmm. So what do you think your final impression for your favorite? Is it McDonald's? <sighs> I've really missed it out, like, every chain. If it's who I visit the most, it's Tim Hortons. <coughs> well, <coughs> yes. Well, I don't visit Tim Hortons very much. I used to go to JJ Beans, which is a Vancouver thing, so it's not like it's all over the Go place. to Starbucks, but Starbucks is so fucking expensive. Man. Yeah, I, yeah. Carrie loves Starbucks, and when we go to Starbucks, she'll be like, do you want anything? And it's like, no, because you've got a, a sandwich and a drink, and it's more than three days at Tim Hortons for me, man. Yeah. And now they have this thing where you can, like, uh, on their app, no shit, you pick the location and you place your order and you go yeah. inside and it's ready for you. And yeah. it's like, my God. That's what Chipotle s- does as well. Oh, really? It's like, yeah. that's creating monsters, man. Yeah, Chipotle, you order it through um, the app and then you tell them what time to come. And then you just go there. And there's like a dedicated section of the re- of the, of the right. place that just filled online orders. I have to say this, man. Went to Chipotle in Vegas. Highly disappointed. Really? People say it's the shit. I waited in line for like 20 minutes. I was super excited. I got my burrito. And uh, I've no, been to, I, see, I, I, dude, I don't I, go with the burrito. I, I don't do the I don't do the burrito. Dude, I went to Taco Del Mar in Prince George, British Columbia is shit. And it was way better than Chipotle in Vegas. What would you get in Chipotle? I can't remember. It was like two years ago. All I know is I sat outside. It was so busy inside Harv. I couldn't sit down. And I went outside with Carrie, sat on the sidewalk, ate it, and looked at her with sadness in my eyes. Because <laughs> I had been waiting for Chipotle for so fucking long. And I had it. And I was like, oh, dude, wow, Chipotle what a fucking... letdown. Chipotle is awesome. Okay, what, I know. That's what it says. But it's, it's like I got, awesome. I got. You got to get. You got to get. I get the bowl with beef, lettuce, cheese. Corn. Onion. Sure, onion. Mm. And it's fucking spectacular. I have to tell you Cause this. Because their beef is, like, seasoned so well. Is it? So I have, well. I have to say this. The disappointment <laughs> I felt when I ate Chipotle was, like, Simba <laughs> watching his dad fall Aww. into that hurdle. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> That was my. That was me sitting on the ledge and my heart just falling and getting trampled by animals. Oh man, that's brutal. Chipotle, you broke me. I need to try it again though. Next you time do. I come to Vancouver, I'll try it. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Yeah, we'll we'll go to Chipotle. This this three year now, so. Chipotle be a good thing to open in town here. Wanna I open, think it'd be an awesome place open to open up there. I can contribute like nine dollars at this point. <laughs> Don't you have a job now? Not to, yeah, not until the end of the month though. So. Oh, okay. May, May, after May long weekend. Noise. Coming up for FanCon, bro. When is it? Next weekend. Oh fuck! It's next weekend. Probably not. <laughs> uh, when are you going to Kind of Funny? Uh, the twenty sixth of May. Yeah. Oh shit. Uh, this guy just messaged me about the room. Oh, where are you staying at? Somewhere close. It's expensive, <laughs> hey. It's gonna cost us two hundred bucks altogether. A night? No, no, altogether. How many days you go for? I'm going for four days. That's not bad. Yeah, there's four of us though in the room. Oh. Yeah. Um. But yeah, no, I'm going there, and then Dev guys are coming down uh, the weekend before that because there's a big wedding going on. Oh, that's fan cut weekend. Can't go. Oh, no. Is that? Well, whatever. It's close. Yeah. So, I'll just take. Who, who's seat. coming this year? Lavar Burton. <laughs> reading Rainbow, bro. <laughs> Do you is remember he... Reading Rainbow? Yeah. Reading Rainbow. Is he coming? Yeah, he's going. Okay, that's that's who it was. And... I was like, I knew it was a Star Trek person, but I don't know. I forgot who it was. And uh, Jason Muse. I don't know who that is. You know Kevin Smith? Yeah. You know the guy in Clerks that stands next to him with the long hair? Oh, uh, it's him. That guy. I'm mm-hmm. not excited about him. I'm more, I'm excited about LeVar Burton. I'm not. I want to go see him. And yeah, not... but it's gonna be like eighty bucks to get a picture with him. I don't want to get a picture. I just want to talk to him for two minutes and not bring up Star Trek at all. I just want to bring <laughs> up Reading Rainbow. <laughs> I want to give him no credit for Star Trek at all. Dude, Reading Rainbow was my jam back in the day. 
uh, Jeremy Palco. I have no idea. Nick Go. I don't know any of these. Oh, the chick who voiced Ash Ketchum's coming. Yeah, <laughs> Ash Ketchum was. Uh, <laughs> That's a random fucking. I wish thing. Jessica Negri was coming. I would steal her. In some places, that's a felony. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> is, is you know that lots of Japanese like men in shows, guys, are voiced by chicks. Yeah. That's crazy, hey. She also this chick also high, voiced April O'Neil from. Yeah, it's a high pitched voice. And she was Sailor Pluto and Sailor Moon. Well, Sailor if, she, if, she, if she was April O'Neil, that makes sense. Yeah. It's a she. But she's also Ash Ketchum. Yeah. See that that's yeah. That's there's the out, there's the outlier right there. <laughs> There is the other. So I think I would go with um, White Spot. That's mine. <laughs> we, got so, we got so off the White Spot. I'm going to go with... Uh, uh, I'm just going to go with McDonald's. Because it's my, it's my dirty pleasure. <laughs> to me, Fair it's, enough. it's like cheating on my girlfriend and feeling bad after, but it's just with food. It's with McDonald's. Well, you got to have an outlet somewhere. <laughs> and then I beat her at home. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Kidding. This is a bruising or work kidding. tomorrow and someone listens. Oh, Dean's going to jail. All right. What's your top? Your second topic. My last topic is. Oh, I'm finding it. Okay. I didn't find it. I found it out. Okay. <coughs> if you could run any company in the entire world, which would you run and why? So you went with company. I thought you were going to go company, with... Any uh, organization, any business entity. Anything that you could be like, you know, CEO or CTO or whatever. I don't know. I can tell you mine. I think that right now with what I have, me as a person, I think the sweetest job would be not a tech company. It's way too much stress in tech company. You have to innovate. And There's too much stress and it's like... It's just so hard. It is hard. So, it's so difficult. I thought like Google Apple would be cool. And then I'm like, you know what? I don't need that stress. And I'm not going to have fun. A badass thing that would be really fun would be an NHL GM. Because I like hockey the most. I want to run would... the Blackhawks, man. That's it. <laughs> That's where it's at. You wouldn't make the playoffs in a lot of years. <laughs> what, do you mean you tr- what do you mean you traded Kane? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you uh, trade him for? We got three draft picks, man. Yeah. <laughs> Second round, third round, fourth round. Dude, this is ten million dollars a year in cap. The money maker right there. I think that'd be a cool job, man. I think it'd be an awesome job to be a GM. You don't even if shit goes bad, you fire the coach. Right? So you have one get out of jail free card. Right? And then if you're just I don't know, if you do shitty, Brian Burke gets hired everywhere. (laughs) You'll probably recover. (laughs) You'll probably recover (laughs) somehow. That guy's been through like 80 teams. He, who has he been with? The Ducks, the Canucks, the Leafs, and the Flames now? The Flames, yeah. You know he was a lawyer? I, 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 could, I believe that, actually. He didn't have anything to do with hockey. He was a lawyer. I believe that. Dude, do you know the Arizona Coyotes today named a 26-year-old their new GM? Really? A 26-year-old guy is the new... That's what, that's what like... This was before. Like, this was the other day when we were talking about this. And... Uh, I was like, oh, it'd be sweet to be a, a GM. And then today, his name is John Cheyaka. I don't know what the hell he is. 26 years old. He's the new GM of the Arizona Coyotes. Wow. That, that's insane. Guys... He got like the best. He's the youngest ever. Yeah, but see, that's a team that has no consequence, really. <laughs> like, who cares? Dude, they it's just Arizona. gave Dave Tippett five years extension today. And didn't he like run some gambling ring? I don't know. I, I saw the five years thing. That guy's been there for a long time, hasn't he now? Didn't he go to jail, though? Wasn't he involved in that gambling thing? Well, I have no idea. I'm pretty sure he was involved in some gambling. <laughs> some fucking huge gambling <laughs> yeah, ring. in 2009. Oh, maybe it wasn't him. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Remember when Wayne Gretzky coached that team into the ground? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, I love when, like, greatest players try to come back and, like, do things. Dude, you know, G- Wayne Gretzky's coaching salary is $8.5 million a year? Really? Yeah. guy's getting making fucking money like fucking NHL players do. He was making more. Yeah. His, that's... his coaching record is 143, 161, and 24. He missed a playoff in all four seasons, and when he got fired, he was due to make $8.5 million that year. Yeah, that's probably why I got fired. Like, okay, we can't pay this guy eight point five million anymore. <laughs> Didn't he own that team? I don't know if he did. Yeah. 
fucked up. Well, if he got fired, I don't think he owned it. I Unless, he uh, actually, he can still get fired by... Yeah. yeah. By maybe by GM. But, but the GM has to go to the owner, though, so... Yeah. Ah, oh, man, I don't know what I would pick. Like, there's... Any company in the entire world. Anything. It's... You just roll in tomorrow, you're CEO, you're whatever you want. You can be CTO, less stress. Chief technology, technology officer. So you could be yeah. the CSO, chief security. You don't do anything. Oh, we got hacked shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you say, shit. <laughs> shit. Where are the programmers at? <laughs> bring them in, bring them in. Bring them in? Um... What did you do wrong? <laughs> you're on the spot. <laughs> oh, the racism is real tonight. <laughs> anything, man. Anything in the entire oh, world. I don't know what I would... Maybe you know be another cool thing? CEO of Disney. Well right now, yeah. <laughs> That'd be sweet. You own like the Avengers, you own Star Wars. I think I I would love to be PlayStation. A CEO of a gaming company. <laughs> I think that would be fun. an established Yay. gaming company. So like <laughs> Naughty Dog would be really cool, I That'd think. Be... You know what, man? I would take reins over EA and turn that some bitch around. That'd be a badass place to work if it was done right. What EA? Yeah. Well, there's an office right here. I know. I could I could fix it. All the sports games would be like forty dollars every year. You just get the new version. It's just yeah, an like update. Subs- it's not even a new game. It's just an update. Yeah, subscription kind of type thing. No more this DLC bullshit. Just, yeah. Like just I, fix it. I think being part of a gaming company would be really interesting. It would be. I think it'd be really cool. Mind yeah. Uh, you know, look what happened to Kurt Schilling. That was the guy from the baseball pitcher, and he made King. Oh Kingpin. yeah, Kingpin wasn't it? Not Kingpin. I remember him making something. King's Reckoning or some game. The Reckoning or what the hell was that game called? Kurt Schilling. Kurt Schilling. A uh, game he made. What the hell was it called? Fuck! What was that game called? It was it. It was like a decent video game, but they just uh, spent way too much money in it. Kingdoms of Amalur: Reckoning. Oh, that was actually supposed to be a really good game. Yeah, but they they paid people and spent way too much money making it that they never could get out of the hole. Yeah, I heard really good things about it. And declare bankruptcy, and then just recently he got screwed over again for making racist comments. <laughs> Well, that's not part of the game, but... <laughs> Didn't you, like, after the studio closed, he, like, had some quote where he said he was going to kill himself. Really? Well, he had, like, 800 people working for him. He had to fire them all because he fucked up. Oh, that's brutal. Never good. It's never good when people lose their job. Especially the gaming industry, too, because... Dude, that's a hard... Very industry. volatile They industry. just closed the Fable one that had been around forever. Uh, Lionhead, yeah. Lionhead. Been around forever. They closed that. Yeah. But I think it'd be interesting to be, like, a CEO of, like... Even Nintendo would be interesting, I think. Like, all the shit they're fucking trying to pull. Dude, the thing with Nintendo is they have so much money, you can never run them into the ground. No, but the thing is, at some point, you lose that yeah. money. Yeah. You, you, like you, can't years. Just, you can't just have that money all the fucking time. Because <clears throat> their the money goes into, like, R&D and, like, manufacturing and all that kind of shit. Yeah. You know what would be another sweet company to fix? I think fix. Run. Walmart. You could take Walmart around and make it a badass store. Pay people more than 10 bucks an hour. Give people, like, you know, 20 You could do it. You're still going to make billions of dollars. Pay people 20 bucks an hour. Actually get people who aren't just, you know, idiots to work for you. And yeah, but how do you, how do you find products. those people, though? By giving making it $20 an hour. Make it, I'd make it $25 an hour, and you have to have some sort of degree. I read something the other day. There's like 800,000 unemployed or 800,000 people in the states that are working like as as waitresses and shit that have bachelor's degrees yeah those are all arts people <laughs> i was just gonna say that oh <laughs> we're such mean people <laughs> i like how you said it stone cold too you didn't even play like those are arts people <laughs> they have to be man oh you learned how to color in school for forty thousand dollars a year you arts don't... or fucking geography majors because apparently they oh. can't get jobs either <laughs> yeah that's what i wanted to do at a high school too geography and then it was like, oh, you never get to be home and you have to be like in the wilderness. It's like, nah, nah, not my, not my, not my I cup of tea. I don't like camping. Is there Wi-Fi? Nope, nope. <laughs> not going. I don't like camping. I don't I need... know. On on the other on the other like uh, flip side of this is running a company would be so goddamn stressful. Yeah. Like those, like Tim Cook must just be on edge all the time. He must go to sleep and just. 
violently Undertaker style sit up in bed. And his wife's like, Tim, what's wrong? He's like, oh my God, the iPhone isn't selling that good. Maybe we need to re reinvigorate uh, it and reinvent it. Let's take away the earpiece or what the, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. We've revolutionized <laughs> smartphones again. That's what he's going to do in September. Yeah. We've revolutionized iPhone all over again. <laughs> no headphone that's like, jack. That's like their fucking cash phrase. Yeah, I think for, especially for a company that's established like that, like going taking the next step must be like really, really scary to be the CEO of that company. Like going on to like how how can we innovate even more? Like if you're not innovating, then you're behind in those kind of companies, right? Exactly. It's 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 weird though because like I can't see like if I if you look at technology right now, we have like smartphones, we have laptops, and we have like tablets, and then like the tablet computer crossover. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like, what? It, what else can you add to that circle? I can't think of anything. I don't think the smartwatches revolutionized like any company thought it would. No, I. And it's like what? Like even tablets are like dying. But I also feel like when like the watch came out, people thought it's going to revolutionize everything. But like, when you buy a watch, you're just buying a watch. What are you yeah. expecting from this thing? People probably thought right? it was going to transform into like hot rod and drive them around. Right, like it's just it's just a watch. A phone was so revolutionary. That, like, everybody now expects everything else to be like, oh, my God, it's got to be like this now. It has to be like this. Well, the iPhone, like, set the bar so high, right? Yeah. And it's just... And they expect that that kind of increments every single time now. You know, the two biggest things that stand out in my mind is, like, these huge things that happen. The iPhone and the MacBook Air. The MacBook Air made laptops faster, lighter, you know? Yeah. And it made every everyone step up their game. And the iPhone... Because the iPhone made everyone go like, oh, shit, no one wants this T9 flip phone anymore. Yeah. And then from that spawned, like, you know, tablets, which aren't, like, a big deal. But, I mean, like, those two things, because I use a, I use a laptop every day, use a laptop every day. It only got better because Steve Cook or Steve Jobs pulled that app, uh, 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 um, MacBook Air out of that envelope. And people yeah. were like, holy shit, there's a computer in there. You know what I mean? And then people were like, oh, we need to step it up. Like, uh, wait till, like, I know Razer, the gaming company, they've made, like, a badass small gaming laptop. But someone needs to come out with something a little bit better that makes, like, Alienware and, you know, MSI, all these companies ma that make these gaming laptops that are still, like, two inches thick. They're going to have to change the game where people are going to be like, well, I don't want to buy that 12-pound laptop when I can buy this three-pound beast. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly, yeah. But it's like when I look at it outside of that, it's like, I don't think there's anything like groundbreaking, brand new coming out. It's just going to be in like uh, uh, you know innovations on what we already have. Yeah, it's 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 just yeah, it's going to be iterations on what we have right now. It's not nothing major or anything like that. But I think I, I think we should be expecting that for a while now. But everybody expects like, oh my god, it has to be fucking crazy. It has to be good. It has to be awesome. I but, think the next thing that's coming is the that will be that is the um, electric car, man. Yeah, I think electric car Tesla's. Um, That'd Tesla, be a badass right? company to work for. Yeah, Tesla's really starting to like take it and run with it with this whole electric car thing, and they're affordable now, which is crazy. Forty thousand dollars. Yeah, you but you're wait it, you're waiting till like fucking two thousand twenty to get your car, but. No, I read today that to, if you order today, you could get one in twenty eighteen because they're building like another facility. They want to build like five hundred thousand of them next year. Mm. But they had like three hundred thousand pre-orders in like the weekend. And you only had to put a thousand down. Yeah, that's insane. They, it, I, I read somewhere that they said they think eighty-five percent and more of those people will follow through on the purchase. Oh yeah, hundred percent. That's insane. They increased their company's value by billions of dollars in like seventy-two hours without even delivering a product. Yeah, just <laughs> announcing a product. That's insane, man. That's like when the iPhone came out and people waited for a week outside. Yeah, they can't. I, I think the driverless car and the, and the electric cars are going to be pretty big at some point. Yeah, it's, and and then I don't know. it's insane. Technology is insane. That's why. I, I, anyways, back to where we are. That's why I couldn't work for run a technology company because you always need to be <coughs> ahead of the game and thinking of something new. And I could spend a whole year and not think of something new that they could plausibly make to implement into our society that would be a huge advancement. Yeah, no, that's true. 
So it's like that so scary. It's like I can't, I can't, I could not be behind the helm of one of those companies. Yeah, because like there's so much pressure of other companies outpacing you as well. Well, that's you thing. have to know what they're doing. If they're doing something crazy, you're like, okay, well, our company has to do something crazy, or we're gonna get fucked. Exactly. And when shit goes bad, you're the only person that they know of. Yeah, because you're the face of the company. Tim Cook, you know. Yeah. Bill Gates. I don't know. No. Whoever the guy from Google is. Cyber, I think. Cyber I think Clark. if I would pick, um. I think I would go with a gaming company. I know it's a volatile place, but, like, I think it'd be interesting to be in a gaming sphere. Dude, if you went to, it, like I said, if you got to pick wherever you went, you went to a certain company like Naughty Dog and stuff, you're not going anywhere. Yeah. You're not going under. They're so established. They make such good games. I think I would go with Naughty Dog. Not I think that'd be really cool. No, they make badass games, man. Uncharted, The Last Oh, Wars. five more days, man. <laughs> If I wasn't so poor right now, I'd totally buy that Uncharted 4 PlayStation with Nathan Drake on it. Uh, I played the shit out of Dark Souls. I need this game now. Oh, you're done with Dark Souls? Did you I finished it? the game. I finished it four times. Holy shit, man! <laughs> what the hell? You all this time? What time do you go to bed? 3 a.m. You go to bed at regular time. What's regular time? I don't know. 12. Oh, that's a regular time for you to go to bed. What time yeah. do you get up in the morning? Usually six thirty seven. So you sleep for like six. You fall asleep when you go to bed right away. Yeah, usually. I go to bed like. I got this. I got the new Rock app. <laughs> I was thinking about downloading it. There's no snooze button, right? There's no snooze button. No. Is it actually like a decent app? It is. It's a very. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you one of the ringtones that is I it have. Just his theme song. <laughs> I have. Um, let's see if is I it can. It's just him saying "Wake up, Jabroni." This is the one I have right now. Good morning, sunshine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what the rock just said. Open your eyes up. Get your candy ass out of bed. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. And then he's got like... Are you actually using that as your regular alarm clock right now? I'm going to now. That's awesome. I'm going I to. I should download that too and use beep, that. Beep, 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 beep. I can do this all. <laughs> beep, beep. Oh, that's so funny. That's awesome. Yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start using this thing. Yeah, because like if you if you uh, close the app, if you just kind of like close it. It turns off. It right? turns off, and then, it, and then he, he starts saying, like, it's time to get out of bed, bro. That's hilarious. Like, it, like that's, that's like it, it's snooze button. It's pretty funny. All right. Should we go to the last topic? Yep. <clears throat> Okay, final topic. Best movie sequels of all time. I know this is a short fucking list because most movies, most sequels suck dick. I had to Google this, but there's one that I just thought of that came off my head and I didn't. Uh, the second Captain America was way better. I haven't seen any of the Captain Americas. Dude, they're on And I'm going to go watch Civil War probably this weekend. People said Civil War is the best comic book m movie of all time that's what i've been hearing yeah it's like damn the dark knight was pretty hard to beat dude christopher nolan's batman is so good because it's kind of plausible right like none of it was like superpowers it was all just strong you're talking about the joker one right the dark knight that i think yeah. is a good sequel to yeah. batman I, I think yeah that one's a good sequel the dark knight rises i didn't it, like it yeah. was good but yeah. i was like ah dark, you, they shouldn't. Once Heath Ledger died, they're like, "Nah, this is the series." I would have ended it. I would have called it. Nah, Let's finish it. No, my no. mine is obviously Lord of the Rings, hundred percent. I don't care what the fuck people say. I'm getting real close to like my Lord of the Rings binge watch of the year. Like, I want to do that. I, I keep forgetting to bring my fucking um my set back from Prince George. Do you have the Blu-ray set. I have the Blu-ray extended set. Extended. Ooh. I might go take that. Oh, I'm here to pick this up for Harv. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, no, I would. Oh, dude, uh, I want to do that so bad. Actually, I just want to sit down and just watch. I oh. honestly think that uh, I don't know, man. There's something about the Lord of the Rings music that sinks me in. Hey, yeah. it's just that Harry Potter has that sometimes too. Like, there's a couple like musical things in that in those movies that kind of get you. But Lord of the Rings, man. I know. Harry Potter's another good example that the movies just got better and better as Yeah, they did. They I released. think the best one was the third one. The third one was Prisoner? one of my favorites, uh, Prisoner of Azkaban. it was dark. Yeah, that's that's exactly why it was so good. Because it started getting dark, it started having consequences. 
for actions that the characters yeah. did, and then people died. The characters actually died. He that was that director only did that one. Yeah, he only did that. But he should have finished it. He like if they kept that, they made I think it they had more different adulty. directors for almost all of them, didn't they? He, I think they yeah they they jumped around a bunch. Yeah. I don't know, man. The guy who did the Prisoner of Azkaban did the best. That's the best Harry Potter movie in my opinion. No, uh, that was that was one of. I really like Goblet of Fire though too. Goblet of Fire. Really? I did not like that one. Why? Uh, it was so good. No, the, like the I, Hunger Games, but not. Well, uh, Hunger, I've never read the Hunger Games. I've never seen any of the Hunger Games. So, uh, I, you know what, man? The Hunger Games is not for kids. <coughs> no, because fucking people get destroyed in that show or in that movie. The director for the person from Azkaban was Alfonso Cur- Curion. Oh you know? yeah, yeah. I've never heard of that man in my life, but he did yeah. a good. He he. He did. Um, I'm pretty sure he's the guy that did uh, uh, Gravity. I haven't seen that movie yet. I'm pretty sure that's Have you him. watched The Martian? Yeah. I haven't seen that either. Is that good? Yeah, he did, he did Gravity. Oh. Dude, The Martian is fucking awesome. I haven't seen it. I keep wanting to watch it. Everyone says it's good. So good. Not a comedy movie, but... That's okay. It's a good movie. I got... Since I've been done with school, I kind of like... Or I've kind of got caught up with like a bunch of my TV shows. Are you guys watching Game of Thrones? Not yet. I have seen spoilers, though, because my girlfriend keeps delaying it, keeps delaying it, keeps delaying it. How far are you guys? I haven't seen any this season. I'm caught up till the beginning of episode one. I, I've watched... So, you, so you're... You, yeah, so you're caught up then, almost. Just you're one episode behind. Two. There's been two, hasn't there? Yeah, there's been two. Okay, so you're you're, you're on season six, I'm though. on season six. Okay. Uh, I am caught up on Silicon Valley, though. Oh, dude. Season's been not bad. Season's been kind of slow. Yeah, but it always I, starts, I, I just don't like the entrepreneur guy that's in this. The, the guy that's running the company. Yeah. Because, like, re- like, all the seasons have had good people running the company. Yeah. Like, the last season guy was fucking hilarious. The, like, uh, overzealous, the th- like, billionaire the three com- dude? Yeah, yeah, the three-comma guy. That was so funny. Yeah. <laughs> this the, guy's the, just kind of... I always uh, need three commas. Yeah. I need doors that go like this. Not that's like hilarious. this. Uh, yeah, this guy seems... I, there's more to him that they haven't got to yet, though. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Like, I think, you know how he was like, oh, if you don't want to run the company, I, or I won't. If you're not going to be here, I won't. I think he's actually like a scumbag guy. That's you think my, so? That's, I think he that's seems like, because that what he seems like he's a shady guy, but I guess he was just getting horse semen. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's like, can you let me watch this? I paid $150,000 for that horse <laughs> semen. I'm like, I'm like, my God. <laughs> I can't believe they actually added that. That's so funny. They actually showed the horse fucking the horse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. It was pretty funny, actually. Yeah, I love that show, man. You know who I love in that show? Um, T. J. Wilson. Is it Wilson? T. J. Miller. Miller. He's so <laughs> funny in that show, man. He is. Just the laziest stoner guy ever. <laughs> the laziest fucking guy that thinks he's has just everything. I got so many people this year at school to watch Silicon Valley. And people really? come in like. This one guy, uh, I came back over the weekend. He just looks at me. I'm like walking to class, and he's just like, "Dick to hand ratio, dick to hand ratio." And I just like broke out laughing. People are, like looking. At him. He's like doing this, and no one understands. But it's like, <laughs> might have been the one of the funniest things I've ever seen in a TV show. That's so funny. Yeah, like, that was so funny. When he goes into his room, he's working on the algorithm, and the three of them are just sitting there on the dick to hand. What if I have two? What if one guy's taller? And I just, <laughs> man, I what kind of efficiency myself. can I have? Yeah, it's insane. That was a good show. Yeah. So for sequels wise, um, yeah, I, I think Harry, like these 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 sequels for like Harry Potter and stuff, they I see I, they're like outliers compared to everything else, right? Like if you look at like other kind of sequels, they've been pretty shitty. I kind I kind of in a sense don't view Harry Potter as sequels. They're all like an individual. You know what I mean? It's almost like it's it's. But they build off of the old like each one though. Yeah, but each one to me feels like its own separate entity that only, you know, it does. But in a sense, like to me, it doesn't. I don't know. It obviously does. It just like to me, like Lord of the Rings is more like Fellowship had to go into the towers, had to go into Return of the King. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like uh, I don't know. Like I guess realistic. Well, even like the Batman movies didn't do that, and I guess most comic Batman movies, movies don't. Batman movies weren't sequels in my opinion. No, they they weren't. were they were all standalone. Yeah, like they, you did not need to know what happened in Batman, Batman Begins. Begins to know what ha- like to know the backstory of Bat uh, Dark Knight. Yeah, exactly. I don't know, man. What about Toy Story Two? That was a good. That was a better than that Toy was Story. Good one. That was good. 
uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. There's so many movies that I haven't watched that I can't, like, give an honest opinion of. Yeah. I know. I, I'm always trepidatious when it comes to, like, um, um, those kind of movies. Like, like people probably say, like, oh, well, there's this badass Wild West movie. It's like, why don't watch Wild West movies? You know yeah, I mean? yeah. Or I don't, like... I don't know. I've watched lots of romantic comedies with Carrie, but none of them are... They're all single-entity movies, right? Yeah, so, you, don't, you don't actually get... And, but, but most of them are pretty terrible if they do come out with a second one. Yeah. If they but ever do. What happens if we say TV series? Because there's lots of TV series that sometimes the second season is better than the first season. Yeah. No, there's a lot of shows like that. Like you could say Breaking Bad got better after the first season. But Breaking Bad got way better after the first season. The first season was a snooze fest. It was. It took. Um, like, Breaking Bad's first season, if you got through it, it's because you knew it was going to get good. Yeah, you just had to get through that first initial push, you the, know? Yeah, exactly. Because I know so many people who, I'm like, watch Breaking Bad, they're like, oh, I can't get through the first season. It's like, think about this. If I said you have to dig a four-foot hole, but once you get down to that four-foot hole, you're going to find gold and diamonds, and you still say, no, I'm not going to dig that hole, then you're an idiot. That's the people, in my opinion, who don't watch Breaking Bad because yeah. they can't get past the first season. What a bad analogy. <laughs> it's a pretty funny analogy. Uh, I don't know, though. Honestly, I don't know. Yeah, sequels are pretty... Um, they're hit or miss. You said and Ghostbusters I'm... 2 was worse? Oh, God. <laughs> Ghostbusters 2 was bad. Ghostbusters three was worse than Ghostbusters two. So just what I should only ever watch Ghostbusters one. Only watch Ghost. You should actually sit down. You have time. Go watch Ghostbusters. I should watch it. Maybe next week I'll watch it. I gotta start. I got. Go just, yeah. I got two on, online classes I have to do in the next two weeks before I go to work. Mm. FML. <clears throat> <laughs> cool never ends, bro. Never ends. Even when I'm done, I'll still be doing homework for some reason. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm doing homework. You graduated. It's like no, I didn't. Then you're going to have nightmares about homework. Oh my, my brother said he has those. He said that, he wakes up sometimes and he's like, I just, he's like, I, he's like, I literally just felt like I missed, slept through an exam. No, I, I have had a couple of those. And then I look over because my degree is sitting there on the floor. And I'm like, yes, I have that. And you're like, nope, back to sleep. Back to sleep. Yep, exactly. Awesome. Okay, you want to wrap it up? Sure. Um, you can follow us on Twitter. I'm at Hard Farmer. At D- Maxman Dean. Maxman Dean. You can follow us on Instagram. Same thing. Um, For both of us. You can follow the show on Twitter at Max Capacity Show. Yeah, at Max Capacity Show. Uh, talk, just tweet us your topics and stuff like that. That's uh, then we'll um, we'll discuss them. Yeah, For we'll your amusement. We'll use the bitches. Yeah. Um, but until next time, guys. Goodbye. Thanks for listening. <laughs>